I knew one of us was going to make a big play, whether it was us or them. It's, it's great. 9 and 1 is the best feeling ever. Speechless. I can't even talk right now how happy I am. I mean, when the first round playoffs, people don't think we come through here and do it. People underestimated us in the 5A playoffs and proved people wrong and did it. Honestly, like you can't explain it. It's just amazing. Uh, and I just love my team. Oh, it feels amazing. We work all of summer, all winter in the weight room, and just try and grind together when you just got to thank the man above. Our defense was stout all night long. Their offense is very, very difficult to defend. Uh, you know, they widen you out with splits and they run the ball inside and you try to make an adjustment outside, they run it inside. Just nasty. And, and our kids have fought all night long uh, on the defensive side of the ball. And then offensively we were able to, to get the job done late in the game. Uh, and I'm just very proud of the entire program, the coaches, the players, the fans. It's a great moment for our program right now. This Tyler Gist touchdown proved to be the game winner with five minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Gist put the Tornadoes up 21-14 over Triad for the win. It feels amazing just to like, you know, you work this hard and you get rewarded like that. Everybody has. The win didn't come easy as both teams scored just two touchdowns in the first three quarters. Taylorville struck first on a 49-yard touchdown pass from Tanner Champley to Sid Wright. You know, everyone considers us a great running team with those passing touchdowns showed we can use the air too, so that's great to have. The Cole Owens touchdown came in the second quarter with 6.16 to go in the half. Trad also scored two touchdowns in the first half, one passing and another rushing. Alex Crehan found Adam Nelson, and then Nelson broke free from 28 yards out with just 1.55 to play in the half. Both defenses came up big in the second half, but the Tornadoes came up big yet oh, again. The defense saved our bus tonight. We weren't, when we weren't scoring, they were stopping them. And you got a defense like that, that's how you win games. You've got a defense that can stop anyone, and the offense will get the ball back and we'll score. And Coach Patero always preaches us to us, preaches to us, panic is for the weak. And we are not the weak at all. So we just went out there and we knew we had to have a stop. So we just went out there and stopped them. They have a great offensive line. They're coached up really good. and. Their defensive line is big and hard to move. I mean, definitely the hardest challenge this year, but stepped up and overcame. Taylorville's offense consisted of Tanner Champley making big plays and Tyler Gist filling in for Bo Bouchon. With a 9-1 record, this Tornado's team is looking to make history next week at Highland. Live in this moment right now. I mean, you guys are setting your own, his your own history and you're, you're developing your own footsteps for people to walk in and to live in the moment. Got to play hard-nosed football. Highlands a throwback football team. They will pound it and pound it and pound it, and we've got to answer the uh, bell uh, as a complete football team. Uh, we know the defense is going to show up. We've got to make sure the offense and the special team shows up with it. Uh, and it's going to be one of those games like this one uh, where you know you, you make the least amount of mistakes and get your double teams and all that stuff uh, and, and then kind of let the chips fall where they may.